on the first day we also saw like two parts, remember? Mm -hmm. Invisible heat summer camp. He's just trying to make it Tarzan! I think he's going to climb down this year. Here he comes. He has a lot of the practice. He was he used to oh. be here from the childhood. He's about one and a half year old. Oh, Aww. you know him. Oh. And he's my baby. His name is Terzan. Terzan. That's the only dog of Chernobyl too. <laughs> I don't know where the, his Jane is. Um, he's a spoiled brat, to be honest, because when he was a baby, uh, he would bark at you if you wouldn't take him with you because he was too small to walk after the group. He's not starving, obviously, uh, but he wants to play. Yeah. So he was barking at the groups like, come on, take me with you. And so there was always someone on the group Ooh, that who picks up the oh. puppy and walks around the ridge <laughs> with the puppy in the hand. And he was just sleeping. But if you don't take him with you, he was like crying after you. <laughs> I'm surprised he's so dark. And he's still a spoiled brat because if he wants to play and you don't play with him, he barks again. <laughs> he's adorable. I know him from the childhood. <laughs> and when I walk around and he also falls, have, um, have you ever played Fallout game? Yeah. yeah. Fallout, yeah like Remember that one of your comrades is the dog? The dog yeah, yeah. One of my group of uh, tourists actually made me a picture when I'm walking around the area with Tarzan on one hand and I have this behind my back and then they had it, the second picture of the guy from the game with the dog at the same side and but with a rifle behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the dog that eats human beings. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the middle of the day, he's already lazy because he walked with many groups and he's like exhausted <laughs> and it's hot. But since we're uh, almost the first one, the only other boss that we saw that was from also our group. He's like, oh, people, fun. <laughs> so from now he's your guide. <laughs> Follow him, he knows the way around. I'm still surprised that he can actually go downstairs from those stairs. But he can. And the building in the end of this road was the command post. That's where we go. <laughs> Um, remember that was the time when computers were so big mm -hmm. that actually they required huge rooms just for their processors, although they were still slower than our cell phones today right. probably. We are going to see some of those. Of course all the equipment was removed, but we'll see what, what it looks like in some of the places. Oh, and there was the canteen for the officers. Soldiers had their own canteen. Right. And, um, we call it radical futurism. 